Hi, welcome to my video on the PGY Tech Extension Pole Tripod Mini. Now I bought this off Amazon UK for $29.90. Now when you do receive the PGY Tech, it comes in a nice box like this. You have the PGY Tech is shown in this window here. On the side here, we've just got what the PGI Tech can do. Sorry about that, folks. What the PGI Tech can do, and it is obviously a tripod selfie stick. It has a universal interface, which basically means it can be suitable for anything that has the GoPro style adapted teeth or fingers. It also comes with a quarter inch screw thread to GoPro um, teeth for an adapter for those cameras such as your SJ cams, I've forgotten absolutely the name, the Osakas, that's it, that do not have the GoPro fingers attached to them and that do use a quarter inch um, female thread. And at the bottom it says magnetic now, the actual feet are magnetic, but it doesn't mean that it sticks to metal. Um, so you can't just stick this on something like a lamp post or, or, or a light post and it will stay there. It means that the actual feet are magnetically closed together. But I'll come on to that later. Now on the other side, it just has the words PGI Tech. And on the back, just basic pictures showing you the usage of the actual mini tripod pole. Now the extras you get in the box is what I stated before. You get this GoPro to quarter inch mount. As I said, it's for your Osaka action cameras, your Ape Man action cameras, your SJ Cam action cameras, or any, or your Yi ones as well. Any camera that has a quarter inch screw thread. Now while using this that you can get away with using your point and shoot cameras on there as well. Up to, I would say, a light mirrorless camera. Also, you get in the box their proprietary thumb screw, which is unique to PGY Tech, but I'll show how that works later on in the video. Now, you also get these four gaskets or um, silicon washers, and these washers are for the teeth of the actual unit here for the GoPro teeth here, if in case you have a proprietary GoPro accessory that the teeth on NAPS accessory is a bit small and even though you clamp down on the actual units or their proprietary um, thumb screw here, it's to stop it from wiggling around basically or any movement, so that's what that's for. And you get two stickers, one black and one white. Start off here at the top and work to the bottom. At the top here we have these nice GoPro fingers with this nice cap end knot which is made out of metal. And we have the PGY Tech proprietary locking pin or thumb screw on the side here. So we get that with that which I showed you already you get an extra one of these. Now that is the Pin is made out of plastic, has a plastic um, lever to it and a metal body. The GoPro fingers at the top of this is made out of plastic. Come to the stem that opens out into four sections, which is made of aluminium. And I like how they have placed these nice black collars between each section. And it has a double seam on either side so they're being back to front, it's literally from one side and then on the other side. So we have a double seam for, to give it adequate strength. We come down to the body and we have the words PGY Tech written at the front with this nice um, silver or um, silver gunmetal grey, <laughs> then silver, gunmetal grey collar, which is made out of plastic. It is not made out of metal. Come down to the actual legs or handle of the mini and this is in rubber and they also made out of plastic and at the very end at the bottom the bottom of the feet 
have rubber to them to give it extra grip. All right, as, as I stated at the very beginning of the video, there are magnets placed in each corner or each side of each leg. And they have this nice little locking system, which is very difficult to get on camera, folks. But they have this nice little tongue and groove locking system in here. So when you close the legs together, they snap into place and they do not move or release. Each legs are made out of a thick plastic and it does feel in the hand quite solid. So even when you close it up, it does feel more quality than the GoPro Shorty, which I've stated in other videos. To me, there's not, it's not worth its price and what they're charging for it. On the write-up of this, it states that, it is, that its length is 16.3 quarters of an inch, <laughs> or if you want to round it up, 17 inches in length. But you know on my channel I don't go by that because you lose um, inches off the bottom for the legs which act as a handle and you lose probably about an inch and a bit off the top uh, for the mount. So to me the true extension length is the actual length of the stem itself when fully extended and between these two points it is 11 inches that it extends out to. This part of the video I'm going to do the vibration test or the wobble test to see does this thing feel delicate in the hand or it feels like it's gonna break. So we'll give it a nice wobble. And it absolutely feels solid from the actual handle all the way up to where you place the camera on the mount. Absolutely solid. Now I know some people will say, well, it's only because the distance is quite short, but I have used and tested other little vlogging selfie sticks like this and they, some of them do feel like they want to break or the top of them where the actual mount is feels like it wants to separate from the actual stem. But this from PGY Tech abs absolutely feels solid in the hand. This is how the PGY Tech Mini looks when the legs stroke handles are fully extended out and the actual stem is fully extended up. And I have to say that it has quite of a wide footprint when these legs are out. It measures roughly seven inches um, across when the legs are out. It does sit relatively low to the ground when the legs are out. I can still put and place my hand under there, but I only got about literally a quarter of an inch between the, and I'll turn this around, between the, my hand on the, on the tabletop to where the bottom of the stem is. Next thing I do like with this particular um, mini is that you can bring down the last or first section down in the middle and which can act as a fourth leg or central leg to these um, three legs here to give it more stability if you want. Obviously it will shorten the actual height of the stem itself as you bring down this. When it comes to using this um, PGY Tech Mini outside, I'll give it the thumbs up for this because it's quite sturdy outside. You don't need to really, um, which I normally say, you don't need, really need to um, actually tether it to anything because of its low um, profile of this particular product. I like how the legs are quite low to the ground and has a quite wide footprint. Now, as you can see, if you've noticed, I have changed the camera up there. So I've put a, um, a Sony WX500, I hope I got that right, on, on there, which is the same size body of camera as the uh, Sony RX100. So this goes to show you that you can put a point and shoot camera on there. You probably could get away with some um, mirrorless cameras on there. Um, not too heavy, if the, if it's on the more of a lighter scale, on the lighter side, I'd say around about 400 grams, then you probably get away with this on, on these legs. But anything like a DLSR camera, I wouldn't bother. Now this is my two pence worth on the PGI Tech Extension Pole Tripod Mini. And I'll start off with the negatives first. The first negative, which crosses to the negative and to the positive for some people. 
has to be this proprietary pin. Now, when I first got this and to test this out and with other PGY tech um, selfie sticks, using these pins, it, there's a bit of a learning curve um, to them. Now, it's hard to pick it up on camera, but I'll try and get it there. On this pin, as you can see, it has a fat part from where the lever is, it has a fat barreled part, and then it tapers down to a very thin part, or then it, then it comes to the end, and you can see on there that there is a kind of teeth that shoot that way out. Now, when you place these pins in the PGY Tech, handle, um, selfie stick, sorry, whether it's this one or any other of their poles, the initial hole is round at first. Now, you will be placing this in any direction as you're placing it in, I mean, i.e. these teeth have to be in a certain way. And what I found is, looking on, they have to be at an angle to go in there. Now, when you push them in, I'd say, straight and you push it in straight you'll find you'll come to a stop and the pin doesn't exactly go all the way through on the teeth then you have to turn and try and let the pin fall into place once it falls into place you do an opposite turn and then you pull down on the handle now it's as i said it is a bit of a learning curve i had to do this several times it is easy to do when you do not have anything going into the teeth. So if you were to do it by, say, removing your camera, which has the GoPro teeth on there, or fingers, or the, free, the quarter inch screw thread mount with the fingers on, and you did it then, it's easy to do. But when you place anything with the GoPro fingers on, it becomes a bit tricky and a bit difficult. Now, once you get the hang of it, you know that, oh, I can just simply place the pin in with the teeth here at the end at an angle of that, of a slight angle, and it goes straight all the way through, and all I gotta do is just turn it, and it locks into place. But as I say, it's a bit of a learning curve. I do like how once it's locked into place, it does not move whatsoever. And as I stated before, you do get these extra gaskets, <laughs> sorry folks, gaskets in there for any GoPro finger mount that you place in there where it may be a bit too small, at least you place these on those mounts and it will fit in there at a nice snug fit. Another negative about the PGY Tech Mini, as I stated, because it used these proprietary, <laughs> tongue tied today, proprietary pins, you cannot put a normal GoPro thumb screw in there whatsoever because there's one, there is no screw thread within the, this cap here. It's just a simple um, lock that's within this cap or recess for this locking pin that's in this cap. So there's no screw thread in there. And also, the pins are thinner than, much thinner than a thumb screw. So you cannot put, as I stated, you can't put any kind of thumb screw or even a screw to fit into there. It may fit in the hole for the hole size, but there's, as I said, there's no screw thread. And two last negatives about this product. If you're looking for something at the same size as the GoPro Shorty, well, obviously, looking by that, you can see that the PGY Tech is a lot bigger than the Shorty. So for size-wise, even though it's still small, it is not as small as the Shorty. The last negative has to be with the mount at the top. Now, I would have loved if they made this out of metal. This would have been absolutely a 10 out of 10, but because it's plastic, you have to be aware, even though it's a good quality plastic, and the whole thing is made of a good quality plastic and rubber, uh, you have to be aware that if there's nothing in this, 
um, within the fingers and you drop this, you may break one of the fingers. And I have to say, once you, which finger that you break, which finger, depending on which finger that you break on there, this may become useless. So um, be aware of that. Now for the positives, and there's quite a lot of positives, but I'm just gonna mention the biggest positives. Otherwise I could do a video for an hour on the positives of the PGY Tech Mini. First things first as a positive, which was also included as a negative, but it's a positive as well, is the pin system. I like how they use these pr 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 proprietary pins <laughs> system. Really good, and I like how they give you an extra one. The Which I should have mentioned the negative is the only downside is to if you lose one of these and to buy back one, it's a bit of money, a bit of, quite a bit of money for them. But I like how they use these pin systems more than the fun screw, which means that you can simply lock your camera down to this, even with gloves on, on the coldest days. Next up has to be the build quality. This has a superior build quality. It absolutely, it, I would say it's even more superior than the Ulanzi um, MT-08 and the MT-09 and I think the MT-010 when I get the ha my hands on that, but it's got very, very good build quality. Feels, it's money in your hand. It does feel like a 29 pound product in your hand rather than the shorty, which as I stated on the other videos, I paid 25 pounds for this. And it, well, through a gift voucher, <laughs> basically, um, for this and does not feel nowhere near the price what they are charging for this. Love how the fort has been made into this, has gone into this, sorry, on the actual legs. They've got this nice kind of rubber grip with a textured surface to them. The actual legs at the bottom when splayed out or stroke handle when splayed out has these nice rubber ends. The magnets which are strong in each of these legs and the, which is difficult to pick up on the camera folks, but there is a kind of pin system in your teeth system on either side of these legs. So when they're locked into place, they don't feel like they want to separate whatsoever. And lastly, the actual stem of this feels solid. I did not get any wobbles in the wobble test. I didn't feel like it wanted to break or separate or the mount wanted to come off whatsoever. Even though it still uses this kind of, um, which is basically glued in and it's hard to pick up on the camera folks, but it's dimpled in or um, embossed into the stem did not feel like it wanted to separate whatsoever. And I like how they put this uh, stem, this aluminium stem with a nice kind of matte black finish with these collars in between in the same kind of matte black, not even a glossy plastic whatsoever, but a matte black plastic. And the extension length of this is far more better than the extension length of the GoPro Shorty. Now my overall conclusion on the PGY Tech Extension Pole Tripod Mini, and I got that the first time. <laughs> My overall opinion of this is, if you're looking for something to vlog with, especially a small mini um, extension pole with the tripod legs you're looking for, and you want a better alternative to the GoPro Mini, as I said, there's the Ulanzi, MT-08 and the Ulanzi MT-09 and the Ulanzi MT-010. You can't go wrong with the PGY Tech. As I say, it does have a quite a little bits of, um, little bits of kind, not really negative points. It, it's mostly to do with the pin here. As I says, you, you only can use these pins. You can't use a thumb screw to get it. You can't even use a norm, normal screw. You can forget that, but if you're looking for something with quality to vlog with, not only with an action camera, but also with a point and shoot camera or a mirrorless camera up to about, I'd say 350 grams, you possibly might get away with it with a 400 gram uh, camera. 
It doesn't really state on the Amazon site what weight. They probably, by the time when this video goes out, they probably include what the actual weight it can take up to, but it doesn't really state at the present moment what weight camera can go up there. But you can't go wrong with this. And I have to say, it is worth its £29.90 price tag. If you happen to have the PGY Tech Mini, please let us know down in the comment section what you thought about it, because obviously your opinions are different to my opinions. And I haven't said that in a while. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. I perfectly understand my videos can be long, but I like to go into detail on the item or the product, so when you get it, you know what to expect. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the channel. I'll be grateful for that. And I'll see you next time.